One of the reasons that we have left our deck off until now and our uh, cockpit sole is that it allows us to still see the framing in the boat uh, so that we can use it to locate some of the hardware that we want to mount. Um, right here is the position for the bobstay post, which is a little teeny hole that we need to drill in the boat right about there. And uh, down here is the uh, forward position of the uh, framing piece on the inside which we've transferred basically by eyeballing it along the side and uh, making a straight edge here 90 degrees and 90 degrees from a straight edge running down the middle of the boat and that locates our, uh, our framing members on the inside and that way uh, we get a much better idea of where to drill our holes uh, for the uh, hardware that has to be installed. This is the uh, hole for the bobstay socket, uh, which um, we started out uh, by drilling with a very small drill uh, around an eighth and gradually moved up. Um, we had the option, of course, of using these graduated stepped bits. That kind of speeds things up, but inevitably you're going to end up going to this monster right here, a five-eighths, and you need to be very careful with this thing or you're going to be doing some shredding that you don't want to do. This is a delicate part. When we go to gluing this thing in, we're going to make sure we have lots of filler in our epoxy and that we sand the metal and sand the epoxy right into it. This carries a tremendous load on the bottom of the boat. Virtually all the mast weight is coming down on the bottom of this, about 1,500 pounds. So you want to make sure you do this right. Here's a uh, picture of this. Uh, tension uh, beam structure, the bobstay, uh, it's going into the bottom of the boat. Uh, this is a very cleverly designed little piece here, a four-stay tang that actually hooks around the steering post, an almost bulletproof kind of installation. This is incredibly strong. The uh, bobstay post and socket are centered, well not exactly centered, but very close to the middle of the uh, of the uh, pretty massive uh, mass step assembly that we built inside the boat so that's carrying a huge load and back here is our adjuster and retainer which we have sitting on a piece of lead right at the moment or a piece of lead holding it in place and we've got it marked uh, where our framing was on the inside we are very close to this framing with this the framing is quite narrow so we wanted to set this whole thing up so that we knew what our length was going to be that way we could come back on the inside and measure and uh, drill our holes so that we knew that we were actually going to hit our framing for this this is carrying a pretty hefty load we'll flip the boat over and take a look and drill our little holes this is the mounting position for the uh, rear of the bobstay <clears throat> on the inside and here you can see that the piece of framing is very narrow relative to where we're going to drill the holes so we want to make sure that we've got this on the money and we're going to drill them with a little teeny drill from the inside trying to keep them as straight as possible uh, when we located this we've done it with measurements where we transferred from the framing outside the boat uh, hopefully squaring everything and uh, we've taken into account the fact that we need to adjust this bobstay so we've left uh, all except about uh, three-eighths of an inch of the threaded uh, rod sticking out the back allowing us to tension this uh, considerably as it uh, as it tightens up so knock on wood there's a huge amount of tension on this we want to do this right once this thing is tensioned up it's gonna sound like a like a great big bass this thing will probably be trying for a middle C something like that uh, when we got tension on the bob staying on this cable and here is the uh, holes uh, marked for drilling this. You can see they're pretty close to the edge of this piece of ash that we've put into the framing. One of the few pieces of hardwood in the framing uh, to carry this terrific load on here. Uh, once again, keeping in mind that we want to leave our adjustment uh, somewhere centered on this. We're going to, as we tighten it down, we'll be pulling it out. So you want to leave, I don't know, half inch of this sticking out, something like that, as you determine where the spots are that you're going to mount this thing, but uh, hitting this piece of framing is, a, is definitely a critical part. 
This uh, is the mass step. It's the one other area that we are concerned about hitting framing on. Uh, we've got it centered here and uh, end to end. It's just about exactly where it needs to be. Uh, we basically draw down, mark the holes, and then uh, when we've got these marked, uh, we're going to come back and drill these with a little teeny drill and put little nails in them. So when we lay our deck skin over the top, it'll make a dimple in it, and we can drill those out, and we know that our uh, marks will be transferred onto the top of the deck, and we can mount our hardware in the appropriate position. We've taken some little number four nails and shoved them into the holes all the way until they bottomed out, and uh, now we are in the process of snipping them off about a quarter of an inch up. And, uh, and we'll turn them over with the points sticking up, and this will be our markers for the uh, for the skin when we put the skin on. Here is the uh, forward deck skin, and uh, obviously cut a little big yet, but uh, by doing so, it's allowed us to rough position everything, including our four little uh, nails that are now sticking up out of the. Uh, out of the uh, holes that we drilled for them and we simply push them down and go thump and they're located. We now know where our hardware needs to be. And we drilled our little holes in the deck skin and uh, put the nails back in it, located them into the holes down below and now when we come back with our piece of hardware and set it over the top of these, we know that we are perfectly centered over the top of our framing. So we have the potentially the strongest mounting position that we could possibly have relative to our framing. And by doing all of this stuff beforehand, before we even have the skins on, before the boat is finished, if we screw something up, we can take care of it. Fill the holes, hide our mistakes. This is a perfect time to do it later it's too late you get what you get and if you have a problem there is really no way that you'll be able to see where you have built things so that you can uh, correct the problem now, this is when you want to do it and we are now at the point where we can finally close this thing up and it'll be our last look at the framing let's go sailing